Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Welcome to myboxingcoach.com. Today, I'm going to talk you through wall pads, movement, and power. Um, and uh, does getting more rotation in a punch actually mean that you're going to get more likelihood of a knockout? It's an interesting question. Before we start, if you're looking for ways to improve your fitness and your boxing journey, download my book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. There's a link below. Uh, in there you get seven tools for um, helping you develop and build your own boxing capabilities for fitness and even for competition. So we'll learn about mindset, how to build your own home gym, 10 top uh, basic skills, um, how to set up your training regime, tips for speed, tips for power, how to get the shadow boxing, seven tips for shadow boxing, and five rules to hit the heavy bag with by. That's the book, uh, download it using the link provided. Onto wall pad, so what's a wall pad? Well look, it's, it's no more than a punch bag that's in a fixed position, stuck in a, against the wall. And they're in many boxing gyms, we, we certainly have one as you'll see in this, in this coming video. Um, and I just wanted to give you two ways of using one. Um, particularly the second way is really focused on generating power but this first way is really good obviously the key difference between a punch bag and a wall pad is that there's more swinging movement in a punch pad in a, in a punch bag that doesn't happen with a wall pad so you have to get a bit inventive um, have a quick look at this first video watch Okay, so all I'm doing there, going in for the attack, lead for pivot, coming out, of, out at a different angle for that whole period. That's all I was thinking, focusing in my mind. I wasn't really focusing too much on what punches I was throwing. I think I was using some body shots and some jabs and some movement, some straight backhands, some hooks. It doesn't matter. The key was about attacking in one direction, pivoting and coming out in another direction. So we're using the fixed location of the wall pad to change our direction and move around the, around the bag. You've got full 180 degrees. Nice way of doing it. Now, the, the wall pad is a fixed piece of equipment. What about power? Okay, have a look at this. There's a few variations here, but, but have a little look. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk you through it in a moment.
Right, so, single punch. So if you notice the first part of that was using left hooks, okay? But if you think about, okay, if I'm standing opposite you, my shoulders are kind of like that, okay? Now, if I throw a left hook just on its own, my upper half rotates and, and goes straight effectively when the shot lands. What I was doing in that video, at the start of the video, was combining two skills. I was combining a slip, so an inside slip, and then the punch. Two separate skills that wasn't just punching. So we're exaggerating the slip, really rotate round, storing energy in the front foot, and then I'm focusing heavily upon driving power from that lead foot. Round, whack, round, whack, and we just, repeat it, get into the flow of throwing that single hook and you can switch it to the body as well. Principle is the same. Slip, power, slip, power. That's not to say that throwing a left hook without a slip isn't likely to lead to a KO. It happens all the time. You know, you don't need to put that slip in to generate power. The left hook on its own, you time it right. Fantastic shot, because it's lateral force hitting the opponent's head. You get the feel of more physical power with the, and the slip towards it because you're generating more torque in the front leg. Um, it's slightly different on the backhand, so if I'm, again, let's imagine I'm in front of you, my shoulders like that. But look at all of the rotation you can use anyway with that backhand hook. So it's the power hook, you give it more rotation and that will, that can deliver real sort of knockout power. And then obviously towards the end of the round, you were combining the two slip, bang, bang, really combining those. And all you're focusing on, the key thing when you're using those power shots is think about your feet. Think about those feet anchoring into the ground and providing a base for that fire. Okay, really fire the power in. Rotation of the hips, the wall pad is a great, a great way to do that. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Um, don't forget to download your book, link here. And also, if you've got time, new channel for you. Um, a guy called Drew McNair. Now, Drew runs the Erie Boxing Academy in Pennsylvania. Fantastically intelligent boxing coach. You get a chance to be sat in his gym. Uh, it's like a fly on the wall type thing. Don't expect fancy graphics. Don't ex expect multiple angles. You just get a chance to sit and watch and you might learn a thing or two. Well worth going to have a look. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link um, in the article below and hopefully there's been one that's appeared above here. But again, don't forget, go download your book. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Cheers.